Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things now. We see them, and in today's episode, the topic is, should Stephen A. Smith be called out for constantly bullying Max Kellerman on ESPN? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, make sure you go ahead and check out Dreamers Pro Max, an online sports community that we created a place we can go and start you know start basketball discussions chat live during games which we've been doing all throughout the playoffs so many of the cool things if you guys are interested in that be sure to check that out we have that linked in the description below and get seven days of access and also make sure you go ahead and click the join button to join the channel to receive loyalty badges from us anyway <clears throat> so let me get into this topic here this is something i've been thinking about for quite some time doing this particular video here um i know some of our viewers because we do read the majority of the comments that we get almost all the comments that we get and um, we've kind of touched on this in the past, and some viewers have also mentioned that this is something that really kind of annoys them too. So I said, okay, why not touch on it today? Given the fact I saw a clip on ESPN yesterday when I was just like, okay, this is this is this this is becoming absurd. So I said, okay, let's 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 touch on it today here. So I've been watching um, e uh, First Take for probably the last at least the last ten years. Been watching that show for quite some time, uh, all the way going back to Cold Pizza. You know, I was I, I remember the whole Jan LaRose and, you know, the, the Stephen A. Smith, Steve, all, all of these big spats that they had on that show. I saw all of them years ago. Like this, this goes way back. And so I've been watching that show for, you know, quite some time. I remember um, when S Stephen A. Smith used to be a guest on ESPN First Take. Remember, Stephen A. Smith was never a staple on that show. It was always Skip Bayless and Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith had a relationship and Skip Bayless ultimately vouched for him and recruited him to come to the show and ultimately became, you know, the Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith show. And they had their back and forth on that show. They had some very explosive arguments in the past. Um, but there were times where Stephen A. Smith used to kind of try to over talk Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless generally likes it, likes to go second whenever they're, they're doing it. The, the format, he always likes to be the one that speaks second. Even on FS1, he usually goes after Shannon Sharp. I'm sure that's the way. Uh, they like to do it, and that's maybe how they they decided they want to do the show, whatever it is. So, Skip Bayless ultimately things didn't work out with him and ESPN. I think they had some contractual um, 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 disagreements. I think Skip Bayless wanted more money. ESPN didn't want to give him more money. I think Skip Bayless at time felt like he was a little bit muzzled. I think there was a time when him and Richard Sherman kind of had a spat, and he felt like he could he couldn't really go back at him, given the, the given the, the work environment that he had. I did just feel like he didn't. I think Skip Bayless felt he didn't have that much creative freedom to say the things that he wanted to say. Ultimately he ended up leaving going to fs1 and they started the show undisputed uh with shannon sharp which became very popular now obviously um espn first take still gets is still the big show it still gets the most uh the most views but there would be no espn first take without skip bayless let's just be honest about it so when skip bayless decided to leave espn there was a lot of speculation on who was going to be his replacement now obviously you know that we're going to get a, get a white guy because this is something that's all obviously they based on our demographics, white male, and uh, uh, white male and black males, black, white and black men watch these shows. And now you seem to be starting to bring more women into the show because I think they're trying to attract uh, a female audience as well. So a lot of us were speculating on who was going to be the replacement uh, for Skip Bayless. And ultimately, they decided to go with Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman, his his kind of expertise is based in boxing. Max Kellerman calls boxing box, boxing games, and he seems to be very ver very well versed in that sport. And Stephen A. Smith is kind of um, 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 Stephen A. Smith is known as being the basketball guy, right? So this these are the two guys on the show, right? And I think at times they do provide a you know I think they kind of provide a, you know um, a nice balance on things. Max Kellerman usually does pretty well on social issues. He seems to not straddle the fence on social issues. You see, you, you kind of know where he stands politically, which is fine, right? You don't have to agree with him. At least you know where he stands. However, Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith kind of have this back and forth. This, this kind of like underlying, underlying um, tension between these two guys. And I think a lot of that is predicated on the, predicated on the fact that Max Kellerman, for whatever the case may be, seems to be one of these people that kind of straddles the fence on making predictions or kind of being... Uh, let me say, uh, coming out there and having some definitive standpoints. Like, for instance, who is the best player in the world? Who is, you know, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Who do you think is going to win, win the NBA championship? And Max Kellerman seems to be kind of, uh, generally seems to be a bit trepidatious on things. He seems that sometimes he doesn't want to be wrong. Sometimes he has this famous thing where he says, you know, that as the evidence changed my opinion, you know, Max Kellerman seems to be known for that. However, 
In the past, I've seen Stephen A. Smith go at Max Kellerman a little bit too hard. I feel like sometimes he's just kind of bullied him on the show. A lot of our viewers have mentioned that same thing. Like, this guy seems to be a little bit over the top with this. And he seems at times to try to belittle Max Kellerman and scream on him in certain instances. But yesterday, I was watching an exchange between them. And I think they were talking about the best play in the world debate. So before I go too far, I want you guys to take a listen to an exchange that Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman had. And in this soundbite, you will hear Stephen A. Smith shouting at Max Kellerman in this soundbite. So before I go too far, take a listen to that and we'll come back to it and, and, and kind of dissect what was said. Before Max started talking that Giannis quote. But before I get into Giannis, yeah. um, are you ready to admit for a second? Can we get to you? Are you ready to admit that they can win without James Harden? Possible. Oh, no, no, no. Are you ready to admit it? Yes I, or no? I never said yes. I never said no. You? No. Really? No. I'm making that up? I, hold on, hold on. I didn't say that. You know, you know, listen, I, listen, I, listen. I'm going to start asking for your comments. Yeah. You didn't say that, you know what, excuse me, Harden, not only is he the most important player, because I know that's not the yeah, same thing, sure, sure. but you talked about how... I wouldn't me, pick them to they, get out of the East. You're, you're Correct. Not, they, they, I wouldn't what, pick them. I, oh, so that's not the same thing as saying they can't hold, win. Hold it, really, really. You hold, think that so, only the team so, you pick excuse, possibly can excuse win? Excuse me, excuse me. You said in the middle of your soliloquy, your diatribe, or whatever word is appropriate, no, they need James Harden to get out of the East. Okay. Is that not the same as saying they ain't winning without James Harden? Okay. I'm sorry, right, am I making right. it up? I, I don't want to go down this road. Am I making it up? It, it, what, to pick, to pick a team and say this team is going to win, not that team is not. I just thing asked you a direct question. Win. I just asked you a question. Those play words with me. What I said. The word if you want to know my did exact you say, quote, did you not I, say? Was, I don't think they're getting not, out of the East. Did you hard. not say they are not coming out of the East without James uh, Harden? Uh, okay. Let, let's say I did. I didn't. But let's say I did. Okay. 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 Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. I, I'm just saying. I, I didn't. That's I said that, I don't it, think they were. It, okay. okay. That's fine. That's fine. You might still be allowed to talk basketball since you're willing to admit. Says the guy who got the finals wrong for six years in a row. What are you talking? That's about. right, I yeah, did. Right. That's oh, right, I did. Yeah. A, a few years ago. Uh, but unlike you, I'm uh, willing to admit it and not dance around it like I'm moonwalking. Okay, that is what it is. Even though injuries played a role in that, but that's neither here nor there. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. I don't have excuses listen, except listen, for this. Listen, excuse. unlike Go you, ahead. I got three decades Go of a resume. Go ahead. So let's be clear. Yeah. Now here's the deal. Of winning, of being right and winning. It. Now let's get to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, now in that soundbite. You hear Stephen A. Smith basically cussing out Max Kellerman, and then he goes as far as to say, I've had over three decades of experience in this thing. My, like, my resume is untouchable, so who are you? To me, I thought that was too much. Like, why, why are you shouting on your, on your co-host like this? Why are you disrespecting this guy like this? This is something that happens way too often on first take. Even Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick Perkins comes on there, and it's like, it's a fight between the two of them, Max, Max, he's always screaming, Max, 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 shouting that. And I'm like, what is going on here? Why don't the producers find a way to kind of tone this thing down a little bit? It seems like half of the time they're ganging up on the guy for some reason. I don't understand it. And Max Kellerman kind of, he puts up with it. I think because Stephen A. Smith has kind of made it clear that this is my show, I'm the star of the show. And he's told Max Kellerman on many occasions, he said it to him, slow your roll, bro. I'm the big, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the headline of the show. He's told him this on national TV, and I just think that's extremely disrespectful. Very, very disrespectful and unnecessary. You heard the spat that they had on the Joe Budden podcast, which I don't watch really. I, I mean, I saw a few episodes, but I don't, I think it's too slow. I, I can't sit down and watch something that takes two hours. I'm sorry, uh, two, three. I don't, I, I don't care really to hear what you have to say if it takes you two or three hours to say it. But there was, a, I think there was an exchange where his co-hosts, I think were a little bit upset or whatever it is. And he basically fired them on air. And it was like, you know, I'm the boss. I bring in a big wig. And, and ultimately, people came out and said, man, listen, this is a terrible, like, this is a terrible display of leadership. Even, even Kevin Hart said, this is an, this is, that's, an, that's a terrible way um, a leader should go out there and kind of reprimand his staff. It just, it just looked really bad, right? And a lot of people called out Joe Budden for that. And I think ultimately he made an apology, if I'm not mistaken. But I think Stephen A. Smith goes too far. And I think the reason is Stephen A. Smith has a massive ego. A massive ego. I've heard Stephen A. Smith called Max Kellerman a flagrant idiot on TV. Who does that? To your co-host. You have no respect for your co-host. But Stephen A. Smith is just one of these people that seems to be very full of himself. Never believes he's wrong. Hard for him to admit that he's wrong. And I, I, I just think I just think it's a shame. But I think somebody needs to step up and say, listen, you can't keep talking to your co-host like this. It's absurd. Max Kellerman is a grown man with a family and kids. Come on. You turn on your TV. You see your dad being spoken to like that on TV. I mean, come on. Why are you always trying to call him out and, you know, belittle the guy on TV? I just think it's totally unnecessary. And to me, I think it's just stale, man. I think, I think it's, it's a lot of the, 
this has this is one of the reasons a lot of people are kind of fed up with Stephen A. Smith, man. Not because he's not smart, not because he's not good at what he does. It's just the extra stuff, the ego, the insults. It's like it's too much. It's just my opinion. Now, some people may say, oh, you're you're why are you attacking? Because it's my opinion. I'm giving you my opinion. My opinion is not based on racial lines. We've crit and, um, let me quickly say this. Some people say you're listen, some of the black guys that are doing this, you guys are making yourself look bad. I'm a black guy, too. Most of you guys don't speak for all of us. Number one, you don't you don't you don't have a monopoly on how all black men. We're not a monolith. We're not monolithic. We all think differently. Number one. Number two, don't come to our channel talking about oh, you're only criticize. We criticize everybody. We talk about uh, Nick, Nick Wright. We've talked about Skip Bayless. We talk about Shannon. It's sports. So for those of you that like to go down that road, please just exit sta uh, stage left. We have no time for you here. We don't, don't, don't do that to me. And then say, oh, he's a black, like, stop. Most of the hate that we get on our channel comes from black dudes. And it'd be the same ones talking about, oh, I'm supporting the black guy. Makes no sense, right? We're talking sports. We criticize everyone. I've criticized Skip Bayless. I've criticized Nick Wright. We've done numerous, last time I checked, Nick Wright was a white guy. So y'all need to cut it out with that. This is not the channel for that. Just wanted to say that because a lot of these guys are running around in the comments saying a lot of these not like just outlandish things. A lot of I know I have this guy. You don't you don't know me anywhere. You never met me. You don't know me. You don't even know my last name. So please, I just wanted to get to kind of get that out there because a lot of them try to, you know, a lot of these guys try to, you know, turn you into a caricature and say, OK, the, the, this is who this guy is. And you don't know you don't even know the person. And you don't know what the heck you're talking about. So many people see a video. They see one video on a channel that has 900 videos. And in that one video, they, they know everything about you and the channel. So please, I just felt like saying that. But anyway, what I want to know is, what are your thoughts about uh, Stephen A. Smith constantly bullying Max Kellerman? And what are your thoughts on that? You know, what do you guys think about that? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.